Now, Fred, we we had a good chat yesterday. You were you were unusual good form, telling uh, some some great stories about various things, parts of your career. Um, we was we were speaking, or you were speaking, uh, your your big crash at Spa um, on on the 500s was 1990. Yes, it was a big big crash. I found this last night on uh, on YouTube on the internet. Now that was a real crash. That was a man's crash. It was 250 km per hour and uh, when I, fly, um, I slide to the ground, I said, okay, I am safety, but uh, just thinking to be safety and I was already in a rail. And I destroyed this M, one foot, one vertebra, and I have to jump five races in the World Champion. So for me it was... Um, I think it's the worst as, uh, crash in my career. Well, that was going to be my next question. You know, you, you're quite famous throughout your career, especially the World Superbike career, for uh, race one crashing and race two winning. Or DNF. I don't want to get old, you know. <laughs> so. <laughs> there is uh, many people fighting for that, so if you take him? one, it's okay. <laughs> No, it's difficult, but you know, for a, for a race weekend, especially World Superbikes, where, I mean, now there are three races over the weekend, but with two races, uh, you have to be a little bit uh, careful also. Yeah, um, compared uh, now, is uh, the, the World Champion was uh, quite hard, because you have a first race in, uh, at 12 o'clock, and uh, you finish around uh, everything 1 uh, p.m., and at 3.30 you must start him for the second one, so you don't have uh, so much time to relax, uh, you have to fix in everything, and when you crash in the first race, is a uh, big problem for mechanics. 